Hey, hey, hey everyone! I'm Rosie from K15T and this is your weekly dose of Confluence. Have you ever jotted down a thought in a notes tool and then completely forgot about it? Or by the time that you find it, it's just not even relevant anymore? So wouldn't we all agree it would be great to have a place to store your notes where your project already lives? Well, lucky for us, Atlassian is currently running an early access program for private notes in Confluence. With the click of a button, you'll be able to view or close your notes panel. Here, you'll also be able to add other elements, such as smart links or action items. The Private Notes Early Access program is already underway, and unfortunately there's no option to join. So for now, you'll have to wait for the feature to go into beta so your team can give it a try. Until then, let's learn about how you can automatically make your Confluence pages more beautiful. So one of our favorite reasons to migrate to cloud is for the cloud editor. The new editor in cloud is far more intuitive than the classic editor, and frankly, it helps to make your pages simply look better. We totally get why you might have been hesitant before. It required a lot of effort to get your old pages running in the cloud editor. Four to five clicks, 10 to 15 seconds per page, just if you're curious. But now, Space Insight admins can be your heroes by automatically converting all Confluence pages to the cloud editor. Woohoo! For individual spaces, you can use the space settings, and for an entire site, go to the settings gear icon and onto further configuration. With automatic conversion enabled, teammates will be able to view or edit pages with that modern Confluence cloud flair. So fancy! One thing to keep in mind is that pages containing nested bodied macros, that is, macros with other macros inside of them, won't be converted. After converting, it's easy to revert the changes, so why not give it a whirl to see your pages in a whole new light? And while we're on the subject of experiencing content in a new way, let's talk about how reusing content in Confluence just keeps getting better. Every team has some type of content that appears in more than one of their spaces, for example, your organization's vision or mission statement. Routine content like this is often just copied, pasted, and forgotten about once it's in a new area. This can be problematic when leadership needs to update these statements because you need to track down and update all of the copied versions. This is where the new and improved excerpt include macro saves the day. Leaders can create one page where they write all statements inside excerpt macros, giving each one a name. And then when you want to add one of those statements to your page, put an excerpt include macro on your page, search for the page where the statements are, and select which statement you want. Now, leaders can constantly update the statements and your page will always have the most relevant version. Make sure to like and subscribe for another weekly dose of Confluence and let us know what you thought about this in the comments. Thanks for watching.